horizon and in many cases hoping about this coming Bengal season. Well, that all comes to an end and now. Tomorrow we start finding out what's real. The season opens tomorrow in New York against the Jets. Tonight, Dan Carroll starts our coverage. At Paul Brown Stadium, the Cincinnati Bengals are getting ready to jet off to go face the New York Jets. I'm Dan Carroll traveling with the Bengals, and head coach Marvin Lewis tells me that this team is anxious to get the season underway. They are also anxious to make sure they get off to a good start. That quick start is going to set the tone for you down the rest of the season. You got to know that, you know what I'm saying, you can, you can go on the road, which is big, in a hostile environment and calm and calm the savages. We do need to start fast. We need to go into to, you know, New York and pull out a win because it's important and it's a team that I think we can beat. And now with more on the Saturday scoop on Sunday's game, let's send it over to Dan Horde. NFL preseason debut in New York last year and through three touchdowns, two of them to the Jets. Sunday, he makes his first regular season appearance also in New York. There's a lot of, a, a lot of quarterbacks that, that when they get drafted high, they are the team. They have, they have to make so many plays in, in order for them to win. And we have a good enough defense and, and, a, good enough, and a, a good amount of guys on offense that can make plays that I don't need to be the playmaker every time. Expect the Bengals to take the pressure off Carson with a healthy dose of Rudy. The Jets ranked 28th against the run last year. Our job is to come out here and run this football. Everything will be predicated on how we run the football. If we do that, we can't blitz every time. But the Jets will blitz a lot. Donnie Henderson takes over as New York's defensive coordinator after spending five seasons with Baltimore's aggressive D. We know they're going to they bring a lot of uh, blitzes and stuff like that, different packages they haven't shown in the preseason, so we just got to be ready. And like I said before, I expect I expect. Just be ready, block them up, and make plays. That part of the offense falls to Chad Johnson and Peter Warwick. They will test the Jets' secondary, playing without starting cornerback Ray Mickens, who's out with a knee injury. Commerce level is out the roof. Um, ready to go. They're going to get the Chad Johnson show. For the last nine years, Curtis Martin has been one of the best running backs in the NFL. He and Barry Sanders are the only backs to rush for more than 1,000 yards in nine consecutive seasons. We just got to dominate him up front and not let him get rolling, because once he's get rolling, um, everything kind of comes off of him. Chad Pennington threw 10 touchdowns to speedy wideout Santana Moss last season and has never thrown a red zone interception. Like Carson Palmer, he spent his first year on the bench before taking on the pressure of starting quarterback. I'll be fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to pressure. Um, I'm, I'm expecting it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it already. I've been feeling it all year long. So I'll, uh, I'll be fine under that. That's quit to talk and let's get this pony rolling. We have double Dan coverage for you on tomorrow's game. Our man DC Dan Carroll and my partner Dan Horde, two time in the season over. That's tomorrow night right here on Sport Trap. Also tomorrow night, another edition of Chad's Corner. Number 85 will be in studio to discuss the game. And as you know by now, anything else that may be on his mind, that's Chad's Corner. Chad's Corner, every Sunday night during the season, he has already suggested it will be an extended season.